Here is another story about Eri and Kiyotaka. Let's see what happened next. Eri and Kiyotaka are classmates, but they don't take notice of each other until Ken Sudo's case. They first met when he and Kikio Kushida went to ask her for help. But she tried to run and broke her camera, one, later, he accompanied her to get it fixed and helped her by telling the clerk to send him the notice for the camera instead of her after observing the subtle suspicious actions of the flirtatious store clerk. She then looked at him while blushing, thanking and being greatly appreciative towards him for helping her, she later asked him about his thoughts on the pseudo S case. When he told her that it's up to her and that the decision she makes shouldn't burden herself. She blushes at his kind words and gazes at him for a while but became flustered when Kikio returned. Because of his words, she resolved herself to help save Ken and even went to the hearing. Willingly presenting vulnerable information about herself to others, when Matabu Horikita hinted that one side could be lying in the case, Eri got intimidated by him and started fretting. Kiyotaka noticed and quickly intervened by saying that he believed her. Much to her relief. After the hearing, she apologized for not working up the courage to help out sooner, but he told her not to worry about it. She was greatly concerned for Kiyotaka when Manabu suddenly tried to attack him. A day later, she looked intently at Kiyotaka's desk before he appeared behind her, thus surprising her. He told her to be at ease and stated that if she ever needed him, he'll be there for her. Eri was touched as she blushed and smiled as she tried to ask him something. Although he had to excuse himself, he did promise to hear her out after he was done. When she was being stalked and assaulted by the store clerk, she quickly phoned Kiyotaka, hoping that he could save her. When he answered the phone, he got confused by her strange tone and tried calling her back. As she was about to be assaulted by the store clerk, who previously made advances on her, Eri reflected on Kiyotaka's promise to help her anytime and tried to reach for her phone once again, but to no avail as the clerk kicked it away. However, Kiyotaka came to her aid in the nick of time by arriving on the scene and catching the man in the act before threatening him with incriminating evidence. When the man tried to flee, he was skillfully ambushed by Hanami who had accompanied Kiyotaka along with the police. After the man was taken away, Kiyotaka expressed relief that they had exchanged contact information which allowed him to find her. She apologized for dragging him into such a mess, but he comforted her by saying that the incident was not her fault and that she should enjoy her status of being an idol. Eri then decided to stop hiding her secret and apologizes to him and took off her glasses to embrace her new status. Kiyotaka offered to give advice in the future for any burden that she may face, before helping her up. She then looked at him, surprised by his words, and took his hand. Once on her feet, Eri faced him and blushed. Remarking on how the look he gave her was something that she has never seen him make before. He was confused by her words though she shrugged it off later with a smile. It is most likely at this point that Eri developed romantic feelings for Kiyotaka. That's all is to know about Eri Sakura and Kiyotaka Ayanokoji story. Thanks for watching see you next video then goodbye. Thanks for watching do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon.